Hey there, my friend, welcome. I'm Dr. Anthony Balducci, founder here at The Fit Father Project. Today's video is all about clean eating. What you need to know, particularly the five rules that we uh, think are the foundational principles of clean eating here at The Fit Father Project. We're gonna cover all those in this video and I'm gonna show you some foods in this video. Some bad foods, some good foods, especially some fake healthy foods that people think are clean but actually aren't. So you're gonna learn a ton this video. You're definitely gonna wanna get out a pen and paper, take some notes, let's dive on in. FitFatherProject.com all right, so what is clean eating? Well, it's eating good non-processed foods. And to start with that, we have to actually define what a processed food is. And what a processed food is, is a food that we've taken from its natural state, um, and we've added sweeteners, additives, food colorings. Typically, most processed foods come in a box, or a can, or a tub, and they require an ingredient label. Um, and so the first rule I wanna teach you is something that we love called the great-grandmother test. And that means that if you're great-great-grandmother could not recognize the food, meaning it comes in a box or a can or it has some crazy weird name, then probably it's processed and you shouldn't put it in your body for the most part. You know, it's not a totally hard and fast, never eat a processed food again kind of rule, but it is a good rule of thumb because let's look at this, this kind of like crass back to nature, classic round crackers. And like, looks like it could be pretty healthy, right? They got some healthy colors on it. But if you look in the back of this, um, and actually on the ingredients, it's all a bunch of unbleached, terrible wheat flour, some canola oil, some sugars, like totally crap stuff. So we can't just look at the branding and the packaging of things and assume it's healthy just because it looks like that because it says nature or anything like that on it. We actually have to understand that these are processed foods and we need to look at the ingredient list. And here's a pro tip if no one's ever taught you this. If you look on the back uh, where the nutrition label is, don't just look at the protein, carbs, fat, and calories. Look at the ingredients list. They have to list the ingredients in uh, a descending order from what's most in it to what's least in it. So look at the top three or four ingredients. That will tell you what the food is basically made of. So in this case, it's some uh, enriched flour um, and a bunch of crappy oils and some brown rice syrup. Does that sound like a healthy thing to put in your body? Heck no. So the first rule of clean eating is to beware of processed foods. And we have a whole video of this here on the Fit Follow Project about how to grocery shop for unprocessed foods. Um, and to cut right to the chase, you can watch that video. We'll definitely link that below. Um, it's to shop the perimeter of the grocery store where all the meats and the veggies are. Um, and, and if something does not require a nutrition label, if you can look at it and you're like an apple's an apple, a sweet potato is a sweet potato, then you know it's non-processed. Rule number one. Rule number two is we gotta watch out for sugar. Sugar is everywhere. People are addicted to sugar. Um, if you are and you're looking to wean off, this is gonna help you kick it. So there's the obvious sources of sugar in our diet, which are the candies, the sodas, you know, mixed drinks and the alcohol crap. You know, those are the obvious sources that we all know to avoid, but what I'm actually more concerned with is the hidden sugars that are in foods that you might not even realize. Um, and I have just one example here, and we're gonna throw a couple on the screen as well, but um, I have this, uh, this little drink here. It's a um, Arnold Palmer half and half iced tea lemonade light. So this seems like it's a pretty good choice, right? It's a light drink. Arnold Palmer looks like he's a pretty nice guy. I'd wanna drink his drink. But this can has 20 grams of sugar in it. 20 grams of sugar in that little thing. Amazing, I mean that's a ton of sugar that you don't want in your diet. It's about half of a Coke, but we think it's dramatically better because it's a light. So we gotta watch out for this stuff. And here's a couple other shocking examples. I love throwing this one up. Uh, this little smoothie is called the Innocent Smoothie. Um, it looks like it's got some berries and stuff like this. Well, there's something called the donut rating that essentially compares the amount of sugar um, in Krispy Kreme donuts to this. And I think this thing has a four or five donut rating. So you'd eat less sugar if you had three donuts than if you drank this innocent drink that's marketed as healthy. So you gotta watch this stuff. It's everywhere. And I don't care if the sugar comes from, you know, berries and whatnot. If you're having 50, 60 grams of it um, and it's coming from fruit juices and berries, it's still terrible for your body. This is not clean eating. This is a processed drink that has tons of sugar. Um, and here's another thing, just to really drive this sugar point home. Here's Starbucks. 
You can see the donut rating of some of their common drinks. Like a Frappuccino is like worse than eating five donuts. Most of us don't even realize this and we're consuming hundreds of grams of sugar um, throughout the course of the week unknowingly. So we got to watch the sugar. Sugar is the antithesis of clean eating. Now if you go out there and you have a piece of fruit that has natural sugar in it but it has the sugar combined with the fiber, the vitamins, the minerals, it's a whole intact thing. Great, that's awesome. There's a big difference between eating an organic apple and drinking eight ounces of apple juice. Eat the organic apple, ditch the fruit juices, get the fiber, the vitamins, the whole thing. Again, does not need an ingredient label to know what it is. An organic apple is an apple. Now it's not just the sugars, it's also the quality of the fats as well. So our next rule of clean eating is to watch out for low quality crappy fats. So fats can be amazing for your body, but it depends on the right kinds. We all know that things like avocado, extra virgin olive oil, virgin coconut oil, the omega-3 fats found in seafood are great for us. They are. They're anti-inflammatory. They reduce inflammation in our bodies and inflammation is the root of all disease. On the flip side though, we have tons of fats that are massively inflammatory that inflame our bodies and the biggest culprits are a lot of these low quality vegetable oils. I'm talking about canola oil, corn oil, soy oil, peanut oil. Guess what everything in pretty much in the world is fried in? One of those oils. Guess what every single baked good, these processed baked goods that you see in the, in the supermarkets, they're made with those crappy oils. And if you've heard the term trans fats before, a lot of those oils, especially when heated, have trans fats in them. And those damage your heart, they lead to visceral fat accumulation around your organs, they inflame your body, they're absolutely terrible. So we need to take an audit of your oils and make sure you're getting the good fats. The good sources of fat in your diet should be the nuts, seeds, avocados, high quality egg yolks, you know, the extra virgin olive oil, the virgin coconut oil. These are the good healthy fats. You can have fat in your diet, make sure it's the right kind and cut out the bad fats ASAP. It is the antithesis of clean eating. Now, I have a note here because I want to make sure I hit on this too because I want to talk about two more things when it comes to clean eating. Uh, the next one is the quality of your grains. So for most people out there, blanket statement, what we believe here at the Fit Follower Project, cutting down on your refined carbohydrates is one of the best things you can do for your health. And cutting down on your grains and your bread intake, one of the best things you can do for your health. But you don't necessarily have to eliminate it, period, cold turkey, although there are benefits to it. So let's look at the difference between a terribly processed you know, wheat bread, even one that says it's whole wheat, et cetera, that's processed, crap, totally bad ingredients, lots of additives, sugars, food colorings, bad stuff, versus something that we love, like Ezekiel bread, which is a non-processed bread. It's amazing. There are only like four or five ingredients. Um, all of it's organic, all of it's sprouted, and the sprouting process actually reduces some of the lectins, some of the gluten. So it's a very bread that if you feel like you can't tolerate wheat, you can give this a shot. Not to say this has to be in your diet, but my point of showing this is bread's a huge part of so many people's uh, normal diets, and it's not like you have to cut this stuff out immediately, but you can transition to better sources like Ezekiel bread. And if you can tolerate this, this is great. You know, we have thousands of guys on our online Fit Follower 30X program, and one of the main recipes we have is certain sandwich recipes using Ezekiel bread. And we have program members losing over 100 pounds eating bread every single day, but it's the quality of the bread. It's non-processed, it's organic grains, it's not sprayed with pesticides, and it's not hybridized GMO crap. This is the good stuff. So if you're gonna have grains in your diet, and if you're gonna have other kind of carbs in your diet, make sure they're high quality, particularly around the breads, um, but also make sure you're getting good high quality rices that are sprouted, eating lots of sweet potatoes. Like these are good non-processed carbs. You don't have to cut carbs out completely like some of these keto diets say. You just need the right kinds. Now the final thing I wanna say when it comes to clean eating is eating quality animal proteins. If you are a person that includes animal protein in your diet, again, you do not have to. You can be massively healthy as a vegan vegetarian, but if you are including animal proteins, they have to be high quality. And there's a huge difference between um, a grass-fed, organic, happy cow and a steak from that kind of cow and a corn-fed, non uh, a corn-fed GMO um, cow that's been eating corn its whole life, pumped full of antibiotics, terrible. The fat content of those two animals, completely different. Grass-fed, the cow that's supposed to be eating what's eating, healthy fats. The corn-fed, massively inflammatory. In fact, they did a study 
They can actually test the amount of carbon from corn in hamburgers. It's like 97% of the carbon from hamburgers in the United States comes from corn. And then they test human hair, it's over 70% for the average American here in the US, corn. Why? Because we're eating animals that are eating corn, then we're eating those animals. That's the antithesis of clean eating. So quality proteins matter. So your, your, your proteins, if you're going to include them, need to be organic free range, need to be grass fed beef. And look, this stuff does not have to break the bank. I know if you go to Whole Foods, it's crazy expensive to spend like $11 a pound on a pound of grass fed beef. But if you go to Costco or one of these big grocery stores, you can get that same grass fed ground beef for like four or $5 a pound. You can make it happen. You often have to buy in bulk and freeze, but that's fine because you cannot skimp on the quality of your animal proteins. And this also brings up fish. Fish is a huge topic. I have a wild Alaskan black cod here. So many people who think fish is healthy are eating low quality fish. They're eating farm raised salmon and they're eating fish that are very high in mercury. So you might have heard this. It is a legitimate concern. Fish accumulate mercury. So eating big fish, swordfish, tuna, mackerel. Um, these fish accumulate mercury and mercury is massively neurotoxic. It stays in the brain for 30 years, kills neurons, really, really bad things. So we got to make sure that we're not just like, oh, I'm eating a healthy diet. I'm eating swordfish and brown rice. Shh, terrible. You do not want to be putting that crap in your body. So there are some nuances when it comes down to um, clean eating and this is what we do here at the Fit Follower Project. We'll help sort you out. We have a free one day weight loss meal plan that I'm sure you're aware of at this point. If you're not, definitely go ahead, scroll down below, click the links, download that. We'll send that straight to your email. But if you're ready to just cut the BS and get your nutrition, clean eating done into a plan that's simple, affordable, that fits your schedule, huge. We'll talk about that in some more future videos. Then hop on into our Fit Follower 30 day program. It's amazing. All these transformation pics you see here are guys using this program. They're getting their clean eating on track on a simple meal plan, our Fit Father meal plan, and they're also getting their sleep, their exercise, and their motivation on track too. So it doesn't get better than that. I hope you found these big picture rules valuable. Again, this stuff is more important than me saying, oh, eat this, not that, because I want you to know why you're doing what you're doing. And then when you join us in our programs, we'll get into the nitty gritty details and give you the actual action plan. I'm gonna hand it to you, you print it out, you follow it, so no thinking there, but here in this video, I want you to get the big picture frameworks. I hope you found this valuable. Thank you for being here, my friend. If you're watching on YouTube, if you like this, give us a thumbs up, let you know you found this valuable, and comment below and let us know, you know some foods that you uh, think are clean foods that you love. We'd love to comment back with you, or if you learned anything amazing, or if you have any comments your own to add to this video, comment below. We'd love to hear from you. Um, we are so committed here at the Fit Follower Project to helping men and their families live healthier, so we appreciate you being here and taking your time to learn and invest in yourself. Um, and definitely subscribe to the YouTube channel. If you want more videos like this, we have hundreds of videos on the channel already. We're publishing more every single week. So thanks for being here, my friend. Check out the free one-day meal plan, our 30-day program, and I'll see you in our future videos, and I'll talk to you very soon.